Ooh, what is up you guys, and of course, welcome to our MPL Battle Week 5 versus Magic or the FC Popolio. Now, a quick rundown while this is a Week 4 battle. Uh, it is basically back to the week where I was really, really sick. Um, still kind of recovering for us, still actually coughing, which is just how bad that flu really was. But my opponent there was really, really patient with me. And, um, I just, I couldn't keep him on hold while I was being sick. So I felt, you know, this is, I'm going to be away for quite some time. When I got back, you know, get healthy enough, I'm going to have so much stuff at work because I have so many projects that clearly only I can do, sadly. So with that said, I decided to forfeit that match because I felt that it was the most best thing I could do for Aster, which was my opponent. And it felt really fair because he was just that patient, you know, prepped and energy like that. And I just, I couldn't keep him on hold. Now, with that said, of course, let's look at two opponents this week. And we are facing off a team where I was basically expecting everything outside of the Mushana here. Uh, Rose Ray makes sense. Uh, Kangaskhan, Landris Eye, and Thunderous, uh, the Mega Kangaskhan at that, were three Pokemon that definitely was coming. Extra little makes sense because that would mean that he would need to have some kind of um, Rapid Spinner, so it made complete sense for him of using the team he's bringing. And now for my own sake, I am bringing Tapu Koko, actually, um, with Nature Madness, Brave Bird, um, uh, no, not Nature Madness, sorry, Brave Bird, Wild Charge, and Hidden Power Ice with the Roost, uh, a life orb set, I believe, and uh, Landorus Scarf version made to basically knock up everything that comes in, and uh, Earthquake, and that's pretty much it. Can you turn, you know, get some piloting? I really need that for this particular team. Uh, Miguel Gassam with uh, Psychic, Shadow Ball, Calm Mind, and uh, Substitute. Uh, Superior life orb version with Leaf Storm, Hidden Power, Ice, that's pretty much all I need, uh, then Giga Drain and Synthesis. Uh, Registeel with... Um, not Seismic Toss, sadly. It was supposed to have Seismic Toss for this particular matchup. That was kind of lost in translation. I don't know how I messed that up, but I saw that it's Stealth Rocks, Counter, and um, Hidden Power Ice. So Hidden Power Ice clearly for Landers, and um, yeah, basically it's here to annoy him, and uh, it should do fairly well because Earth Power did not KO us, and Hidden Power Ice are very likely to KO him. So a bit unfortunate that, because I went bold, and uh, that I didn't change that quick for Seismic Toss. That would have been helpful in this matchup, and you're going to see just why <laughs> just in a few seconds. And Assault vs. Gus Lord uh, makes sense with this time of matchup because it just walls so many things. Rotary can't necessarily touch it. Even with Dazzling Gleam in mind, I am able to retaliate towards it, and it's very unlikely that it has Dazzling Gleam because, well... Let's face it, it's a freaking Rose Raid. You, you don't necessarily prep for a Gust Lord. Uh, so be a bit blinded there, I guess. And then Landers and Thunders cannot do anything towards it. Even Focus Blast is at best a 2 hit KO, and that is if they land those hits. So really, with all that said, let's of course go into the match. Um, now, from the get-go, I start with Registeel. I'm just going to get my rocks up. As he starts off with the Mega Kangaskhan, I do not fear Mega Kangaskhan too much, but I saw Substitute, and that really, really had me going. Uh, and we see Earthquake, it's not going to do enough, but my Earthquake that I retaliate with is not enough to break the sub, which is kind of unfortunate because I stated, had I had, of course, the Seismic Toss, things would have been uh, better, definitely. So it goes for a wish here, that's quite alright, I'll just go for Earthquake, break in the sub, as we're going to see Ice Beam, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's Ice Beam, it's um, it's crazy, it's awesome, it's definitely not what I wanted, as the wish, of course, not transpiring. Now, with that said, I predict, of course, another series of Ice Beams. I'm just going to send in my Tapu Koku. And predicting him to switch out and go to his Rose Ray, trying to soak a pleasure of Thunderbolts, I'm just going to go for a Brave Bird. That was proven to be wrong, because it just didn't go for a Wish. I will now decide to go for a Roost, which was kind of dumb, because Earthquake actually is a guaranteed KO, after, of course, the Parental Bond, which I just... I have so... Tough time adjusting for me at Kangaskhan. So at the get-go, it does really well against me. But I know I can trace the parental bond, so I'm just going to force him out by actually sending in Mega Sam and then switching Lando. Luckily, he does finally get baited out, and he gets to its extra drill. I'm going to go for a knockoff here because he has two flying Pokemon, which means that they are safe to be switched in. As when I go for a knockoff here, we are not going to knock off anything. Clearly means that, you know, he has a C-move. So with that said, I decided to switch into my Gust Lord, predicting him to be, of course, uh, a special version, because special landers is actually a lot more threatening than the physical one, though clearly this is not a Sheer Force Life Force version, because Sheer Force is banned in this league, so it's a, um, what do you call it, Sand Force version. Uh, so anyway, with that said, I'm going to actually switch out to my Gust Lord, 
Uh, sea Ghost Rhythm Power Eyes, which is quite alright actually, mainly because we do soak it without necessarily any issues and we can retail it with a crunch. Now, it switches into his exit drill and crunch does a decent amount of damage. So I feel like the Fire Blast definitely should take him out from this range. Uh, it is not. It definitely isn't, sadly. Uh, it does roughly the same as Crunch, actually. So I'm forced to switch out there and go to my Landers again, predicting the Earthquake. I don't want any more residual damage onto my Gust Lord. So with that said, I'm going for Knockoff, of course, KOing him, and that's great, I guess. Uh, so Mega Kanga's gotta come in. Uh, and then here's the thing. I decided to actually go for Knockoff just to get some damage here, as he goes for Substitute yet again. Um... And knockoff clearly is enough to break the subs. So I need to switch out this time around. And I'm gonna go to my Regis Steel. I and I decide actually to uh, instead of attacking him and breaking the sub, to uh, go for rocks. Uh, I need to go for rocks. It's it's an issue for his team. And now with the extra on, he's definitely gonna keep on pressuring. And I have a ways of getting around it. Now predicting him to go for another earthquake, I'm just gonna send in Lando and uh, lock myself into earthquake on my own and just break the sub and fall basically as I can freely switch into my right superior and just start Leaf Storm because now I have the residual damage I need to KO anything that comes in. So superior clearly here is going to be very very threatening for him as it's not a 2 hit KO at first. As we do a lot of damage he's going to go for Ice Beam and I'm feeling he's not going to want to sack this thing off already. So I'm actually going to go for Giga Drain this time around just to get some HP back. Luckily it goes to Mushana. Uh, which clearly isn't resisting this whatsoever, but it is not a 2 hit KO, which means I'm forced to go for Leaf Storm next time and KO the Mushana. I don't want to risk it, you know, anything like, of course, a Thunder Wave or anything like that. And they're going to send in directly the Rose Raid, and I should predict the thing, this thing to be Scarf. I don't do that as Sludgeman going to KO me. Uh, the only perk that comes out of this is that luckily I can switch into my Registeel and just go for Toxic and Toxic anything it switches in. And luckily for me, he does decide to switch in, of course, Mia Kangaskhan, which is now clearly on a timer. That's great. That is exactly what we wanted. And uh, I am now in an area where I should be able to pretty much get the wrap up from this situation. Now, it should be stated, um, I did not keep track on the moves on Mia Kangaskhan. He's already showed his full moveset, but I'm not gone over them mentally, as you said. You know, it is Ice Beam, Earthquake, Substitute, and Wish. Uh, at the time, I didn't keep track of that. I was so sure he had Sucker Punch. So, um, it's my fault. When I play on Showdown, I am not... It goes so fast that I don't, I'm so bad at keeping track. You know, when I play Wi-Fi, I have pen and paper. You know, I write down the situations, the sets that Pokemon are bringing. Uh, I did not do it this time. I'm actually going to go for a Substitute here. And this will prove to be kind of crucial. Because, of course, he doesn't have a Sucker Punch. So he's just going to tech break the sub, I get unnecessary damage on my, of course, like a Sam, and now I'm, I am now in range where Leaf Storm can KO me, uh, which is awful, mainly because um, against the Rose Raid, I would have been a gold opportunity here to take a Leaf Storm once full and actually retaliate, and so due to this, I am forced now to switch out, and uh, basically, Gustlord has to soak this, and then I'm going to help for a better day versus this fake. As the game kind of throws me a bone here, had I decided to sack off to make Alaka Sam, he actually missed the Leaf Storm. So I felt that the game kind of just reached out like, it's okay, you can mess up. But I just, I don't take the opportunity as uh, I, of course, go for directly for the Crunch with the Gust Lord. He just connect the Focus Blast and this is pretty much it. Now my Gust Lord can't take anything from the Rose Raid and I'm in a bad spot. I should definitely have double switched there knowing that he was forced to switch out himself. I don't do the necessarily good plays in the end there because I had a given opportunity to kind of kind of throw it back in the game. I messed this up really, really badly, and it is very unfortunate, mainly because I felt I was doing so well till this point. So Rose Ray clearly has to miss his leaf storm for me to be able to win. Sally, that do not transpire, and Magic and the FC Popolios will win this match 1-0. And yeah, as stated, um... I kind of choked this game, I really have to say that. I think my opponent plays a very, very good game, if anything. His Mirror Kangaskhan was very, very threatening towards me all the time. And it wasn't until a very, very late game where I kind of get that offensive opening, which I was kind of longing for. But unfortunately, I don't take the given opportunity I had in my hands to kind of win this matchup. And I lose 1-0. But to my opponent, Magic, good job, buddy. And for myself, damn it, don't choke. <laughs> <laughs> I clearly could have played that ending part a lot differently, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. I'm actually fine with a 1-0, but it would be nice if I actually was, you know, I could have predicted, you know, who switches funders, it makes sense, 
and snag the bolt up sword. But focus blast would even, you know, not be that threatening. But at the same time, it could definitely have played around it really, really nicely. And you know, it's okay the way it is. I'm really glad that the game ended, and quite honestly, I hope to bell him again sometime because I had a lot of fun. Uh, but snagging parental bond and not utilizing that, not keeping track of the Mega Kangaskhan, yeah, that's my fault. That's clearly the joke of the match. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and if you did so, make sure to, of course, you leave a like, and uh, make sure to check out my opponent's side of the battle, which is going to be linked down below. So that's it, guys. Thank you, of course, so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, of course, take care. Bye.